welcome to another video. It's good to have you along. My name is Elmo Karjalainen. You can call me this guy. There's a J in there somewhere as well. I'm really excited about today because I'm checking out the Ingve Malmsteen sound on a serious budget. I bought this and this is the Mosky Audio D20. You could say it Mosky, but I live right next to Russia where, well, it would be pronounced Mosky. Um, yeah, I bought this for 15 euros. That's roughly uh, like 17 dollars. And this is a copy of this pedal, the DOD 250, which is a legendary pedal and has been used by loads of people, most notably Ingve Malmsteen for much of his career. Now, the Mosky D250 is a copy of this, but it costs almost nothing. But is it any good? I don't know. I haven't tried it yet, so I'll be right back after this intro. <laughs> Okay, welcome back. So before I start playing, uh, I'm going to talk you through the features. There are not a lot of them. The DoD 250 has a gain and a level. This one just has a gain and then it has a trim pot inside uh, where you can set the level. I have it set to full because I'm going to be checking out the Ingve Malmsteen tone today. So that's basically it. I've, you can't expect much from a pedal that costs only 15 euros. Okay, it's second hand. But still, I think it's $25 new in the States, so that's really not a lot of money. I'll get this hooked up and start playing a bit. Okay, so what else do I have going here? I have an Ingve Malmsteen Strat, one with the DiMarzio HS3s to get the more old-school Ingve Malmsteen sound. I'm running it all into a Marshall 1987X head that goes into a Marshall cab and all that. I have a bit of delay and I also have a noise gate. Here's my clean sound. And I thought I'd begin this by just playing both pedals, see how they sound, not tell you which one is which, and you can guess. Yay! Hooray! Or maybe not. So, here is pedal number one. Okay, that was pedal number one, and here's pedal number two. So, uh, yeah. Um, so, pedal number one and pedal number two. Which was which? Guess in the comments below. And hey, if you get it right, you get bragging rights. If not, well, you have to bow your head in shame. <laughs> Yay. Well, here, are you ready for the big announcement? <laughs> Pedal number one was the Mosky, and pedal number two was the DoD 250. I have to say, I'm 
very impressed with the Mosque for the price. Uh, I had a Mosque obsessive overdrive that I compared to uh, the OCD by Full Tone, and I was not impressed with that at all. But this one is actually quite good. I'll just uh, switch between the two. First I'll see how much noise they generate. So I have a noise gate here. That was the Dodd. Um, and here's the Mosque. Okay, so the Mosque is a bit noisier. It might actually be uh, there might, it might have a bit more gain as well. Uh, and one thing that you notice when you switch it on, it makes a slight pop, which is not totally uncommon in cheap pedals. So that's a negative. Of course, if you want to have your level control uh, on top of the pedal, then that's a negative that it's inside the pedal. But if you're just going for an Ingve Malmsteen tone, then that's fine. And I mean, this is Sounds quite nice. Here's the Dodd. <laughs> I'll just play uh, one note like this and switch between the two pedals. And I'll start with the uh, Mosque. So that sounds like this. And then just a chord. Again, Mosque first. There isn't a big difference at all between these pedals. Uh, for that price, the, the Mosque is... It's incredibly good for that price. I mean, really. <laughs> My playing is really all over the place today, but that Mosque is sure sounding good. The the Dodd 
is just a teensy weensy bit better. But I mean, twenty-five dollars. That's nothing. Fifteen euros for a second hand. I bet you could get them even cheaper on eBay. Uh, it's seriously cheap. So if you're on a budget and you want that Ingve Malmsteen type tone, then definitely this is something to check out because hey, if it's new and it costs twenty-five dollars, twenty dollars, whatever, something like that, uh, and you sell it for even ten dollars, you you haven't lost basically anything. Now, I don't know about how well it will stand the test of time. I suspect that it won't, that the on-off switch will break at some point or something else will fail. But uh, if you're not planning to use it extensively while gigging, then it shouldn't be a big problem. And you can just buy three of them and it's still che cheap enough, basically. So I think I saw something where you can buy three of these on Amazon for, no, sorry, eBay for uh, 60, 60 euros, I think it was. It might have been dollars, I'm not sure. Um, and you yeah, just have three of these <laughs> uh, instead of one dod. Yeah, it's really, really cheap. There are differences, slight differences in sound. The dod sounds just a bit warmer, but uh, I don't know on which version of the dod 250 that one is based. I have a reissue dod. It might be that it's based on another version of the dod 50. So that might explain it, and the difference isn't big. It's actually very small. I'm, 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 I'm amazed. <laughs> I didn't think it would be this good. Seriously, this is, this is really close. I just have to try it again. <laughs> graininess there that I'm not entirely sure about, especially on the bridge pickup. I'll just try with the Dodd. <laughs> This has slightly less of that graininess, but it's still there, so it's kind of been replicated in the D250. I don't think my Fender Ingve Malmsteen Overdrive has that uh, that thing. It sounds like that sounds slightly different. Hey, this pedal sounds great for the money. I mean, seriously, twenty-five dollars new, uh, I think it was, and. Yeah, 15 euros second hand, that's nothing. Uh, that's all I have for you today. Uh, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please press like and comment. Like I said, you could guess earlier which one was which and well, comment, let me know what you thought uh, because I don't know how it'll sound on YouTube, mic'd up like this and all that, but here in the room they sound surprisingly similar. So comment, let me know what you thought and uh, yeah subscribe if you haven't already pressed that little bell notification thing and support me on patreon because i buy the gear that i review and honestly the mosky um sound wise it's a no-brainer a good investment if you're on a budget if you're not on a budget i'd go with the dodd but still um yeah that's very very cheap now Construction quality, like I said, I wouldn't uh, rely on it too much. I'd have a backup uh, or maybe two just in case. But yeah, it's still very, very cheap.
affordable and sounds good. So that was all I had for you today. I hope you liked it. Take care. See you in another one. I'll end with a bit on the mosky D250. I'll end with a bit on the mosky D250 overdrive. <laughs>